Hello everybody, I'm Dan here from the Hammer Game Channel to my Kingdom of Finland playthrough where in the last episode we did able invade the French Commune and yeah, the AI decided the whole thing by um, letting the French retake Cherbourg and most likely retake Brest this episode as well we are just going to chill in this defence position that we have I am currently trying to push in here but it would seem that they can still go that way anyways so I'm just going to stop now, we did have a 155,000 uh, manpower, so I do currently have six more divisions in training. The Indian Empire is going after the Dominion. Okay, so the Dominion in India is probably going to die. Yeah, they're probably going to die. We'll see what happens over there. Um, the Soviets possibly episode. That civil war has been raging on for some time now. I, I think that's actually been going on since the start. There it is. Yeah, there has been six... 0.7 million casualties. Now, I'm hoping this episode we can things up. Yeah, the French commune, anyways. I don't know if we'll actually take on Russia during this playthrough, but oh my days, we have some green. We have some green on the line. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Um, yeah, I don't know if we'll take on the Russians. We'll see. They might come after us, but I'm not going to be able to do much myself, and the Germans are probably going to cover from this absolutely. Pathetic display. Don't know why loads of divisions have came now. At least it looks like Brest is not going to fall. I'm hoping the AI will be able to push back out though. Let's see how that goes for them. Yeah, we are really going to be sitting in a defence position. Just hoping that the Germans can actually eventually push forward. Yeah, we're going to stay where we are. We are staying where we are. We have a good. We have a good defence position there. I don't want to risk re uh, like having to retake Paris. Lyon is now the capital. The Netherlands are still holding on down here, um, but that looks like it's going to be crushed fairly soon. Um, yeah, we've got damages to fix. If we can just get through the Belgium, then I think we'll be good. These six are going to actually go over to this front, and we're going to see if we can get them to help push through. Because, really, like as, like I said, if we can take... Take care of these divisions, because they're completely cut off once this falls. Or any of this part falls, they're screwed. So hopefully. Hopefully we can do something. Because if we can break through here, all these divisions can start flowing through and pushing through the, you know, the land that doesn't have the massive bloody four lines on it. The French, the, for being by themselves, basically by themselves now really Central America well they've still got Italy but till Italy has 24 divisions max so they're still doing bits they're doing a little bit 700 that's incredible considering like 334,000 and um, the focus tree we've not really got more for the ag aggressive expansionism Right, are these divisions ready? They are. Well, they're ready to be deployed anyways. We shall ship them out to the front. They will not be doing anything for the time being. I'm just going to get them over there. What we'll do is we'll just place them to go there. I would try and get them to come and land. I don't really want to risk the French Republic's landed there, but we're going to give them a little help in hand here as they die. I don't know if we're going to be able to save them. I don't think we will be able to. I'll try my best. I don't know why my ships are chilling just randomly there. The subs that I have left. Um, I might be able to save But I don't know why they just didn't come and join us. I don't know why there's so many divisions over here now. <coughs> Where do we a little push forward again? I really just need to get through that bloody front line and Germany's going to be sorted. They mean over here? Oh, no, they're, they're... Oh, they're traveling by land. Perfect. Now, we could go up even higher, but I don't think we need to... Yeah, the Soviets are definitely going to be finished off this episode. Yeah, they have zero manpower. Not amazing. Um, I'd like higher than it is. Although, I'm hoping they're not going to come after us first. I'm hoping they're going to do some other things. Maybe take out... Uh, well, Turkestan's already gone. Maybe go after Mongolia. Qing is hopefully going to push back the Japanese. That would be beneficial for us. Uh, 
Anyways, let's focus on our front. Right, the 6th Division's have made it. 155. Germany's just... Not having a good time. Oh my days, why have they got so much... They're just sending divisions over the random spots. Venice is never going to fall. They have that fantastic to hold. I was going to say, we might be able to help push this in the, just in our favour. Oh my days, we might actually. Oh, please. Please. Because this really could be the start of the end for them. Come on. It's gone. We've taken it. Right. What we need to do is, we just need to do that. Those divisions are screwed, and now they can flood on in. I'm going to be. There's a lot of movement. There is a lot of movement. Alright, we've got three factory spare as well. Okay, we have apparently left a gap. Let's just get ourselves resorted here. Because we really don't want to lose. Come on, Germans. Come through. Like, yeah, here we go. This is this is more like a massive group of guys coming. We'll see if we can help push... Actually, we're not going to be able to do much there. That They're going to be uh, staying there for a while. But as long as the Germans start getting through here... Oh my days, the whole of India is fighting each other now. They just need to get, stop getting attacked here. Right, come on, get through here. Really. The Golestan Pact. Okay, Azerbaijan could be getting invaded. And Agrilis Brazil are really not doing too well. I completely forgot the Buno series uh, Lima Axis is a thing. Portugal's done a decent wee landing over here. Very decent wee landing, indeed. Um, this has been a very interesting region through this playthrough. Especially in the first couple of episodes. Um... Don't know why there's a massive death stack of divisions here. What is the AI doing? Like, or at least they've kind of reinforced the line. But I was hoping they were going to come through and, um, you know, start pushing this way. Yeah, these divisions are really going to be hard to take down. Yeah, there's... That is so undecided. What on earth? Once these guys get up to um, level 2, we're going to just bring them over. Yeah, those boys are doing good. Now they can have safe passage through as well, so they can all come under this one guy now. What we're going to do, however, is we're going to just dump them on Dunkirk. And we're just going to help push in there. Okay, that's what I've been waiting for, the push, but that cavalry division is looking very, very bad. See, the thing is, oh, we're pushing over here as well. Moroccan divisions have come force. Bulgaria's not doing too well. Pacific States is going to have the Union State. They have a treaty or something. But um, I'm backing them to do some decent damage to the Sindhis. As well as the Union State, of course. Right, yet they have been forced back, which is brilliant. Okay, this is looking better, especially how uh, we're pushing back here again. I don't know why I have the military access. Like, get over here. Do the French Republic want military access? Why? 
Why? Strategic reasons to be, uh, you know, hostile towards me. What strategic reasons? I've got 18 divisions. Right, I think we can abandon our defence positions. Um, because the AI is pretty much on this now. So what we're going to do is we're going to send our troops over here. We're going to try and cut off Cherbourg again. Because the port has currently been taken. So um, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, the UK has landed some divisions in the world as well. Um, how is the UK doing in this? Because they had a lot of divisions to begin with. Oh my days, UK has lost 360,000. Okay. Why on earth are we getting so bad? Terrain. Alright, that's looking better now. We'll do it. We'll set up an offensive line. And go. Yeah, we're pushing forward is exactly how I want to be. Actually, all them. Oh, that way. Right, we just want to get the, to the river. Yeah, the Brits are still in Cherbourg. That's good. Um, holding on to us, but that's only one division going that way. Just notice we should probably send two guys that way, or actually even all of them. Actually, no, I quite fancy. Right, we are going to cut the... Yeah, we cut that lot off up there, that one division. Right, we are pushing to that river. Brilliant, right. La Rochelle would be nice to take. Of course, we can't exactly be too aggressive. We don't have much manpower to, uh, you know, use. We've lost 37,000. French, we have killed... 149,000, so we're not doing terrible for being a little, little nation in this. And it was us that actually even started the uh, the push over noise, thanks to our fantastic naval invasion last episode. Um, I'm just thinking, where can we like uh, put ourselves that's going to be kind of beneficial to this whole cause? Um. As we made it to the river over here, we could probably do with just pushing them back. Yeah, that's all we bypassed. Um, I kind of want to turn... I actually want to do that, but... Um, yeah. Bollocks. Alright, let's stop. Who are they calling me in against? Iran? Since when were we fighting Iran? Oh yeah, and uh, Austria United, I completely forgot to mention that. Okay, clearly have a breach over here. Let's just move to uh, help push through there. And the AI's got it covered. Well, it should have it covered. We've got ourselves a spearhead. Just line that up like that. See what we can do to assist over here. Be nice to take Orleans, just get a little bit more distance between them and Paris. That's kind of what we want to do. Probably want to. Oh, they've busted through the uh, the fort line over here now. Which uh, about time. What we'll do is we'll actually send this uh, guy down here to try and uh, just encircle this lot. Because that is the risk they are uh, facing currently. I really do think we're going to get it as well. I don't know what's taking the Germans so long to punch through there, but at least we have now. Yeah, that encirclement has indeed happened. Which is fantastic news for us all. Leon is very close to being taken as well now. What we'll do is, I think we'll just draw a spearhead down to Toulouse and Bordeaux. The Dutch have landed in Marseille, which is really handy, actually. We're not going to focus too much on this encirclement. I think I'm going to leave that to the Germans. 
and the rest of the AIs. Well, we're going to continue our push itself. Leon has fallen. So Bordeaux is the capital. They're collapsing to Spain now. They are losing the plot. We have only lost 49,000 as well, which is very nice. Yeah, they're very close to capitulating at this point. We get to the 200k attack. The Fading Sun. Oh, right. After the other defeat of the Imperial Japanese Army, our army controls huge swatch swathes of the land in Maturia and Korea. Well, it's the Imperial Navy are just attempting mere blockades. Our spies in Tokyo report severe dissent and war weary, uh, weariness among the populace. In light of this, the government has called a two-week conference in Port Arthur to determine our war aims. So the Japanese have been completely... Oh my bloody hell. Ching... Ching has absolutely dicked on them. Uh, we'll accept the terms. I don't want to be fighting Japan. That'll nicely bring that war to an end, even in it. Yeah, that encirclement is just completely screwed. Unless they start breaching out because the AI is just ignoring them. Um, Bordeaux is very close as well. I'm hoping the Spanish are going to take that. Because I don't really know where the next capital would be. Possibly... No, they've all. Well, I was going to say Rems. I thought Mets here as well. I might just be making up names now. Oh, Bordeaux has fallen. They should be very. Yeah, they are. They're dead. They are dead. Um. Well, I am take some land. I I deserve some land. I think. I'm I'm going to give Sweden some of this land. Um. Take the Torn Valley off them, just because I really don't undo the Greater Finland thing. So, uh, what do is, where is Finland? I do have... Yeah, I do get to uh, divvy out all this land, so... Obviously, Germany will... Well... I'm just trying to think here. There's not much... What the f... What the hell is this right now? Let's just sort out Norway first. So, we have... Where is the Swedes... There they are. So, I'm going to give the Swedes the, um, the southern half. I might actually just give them that. Because if I give myself that, it's going to look terrible. But at least for them... Yeah, I think that's going to work. And I'll give myself Torn Valley from them. Um, Germany would probably take all of France, let's be honest. Let's go ahead and just give them all that. That's cleaned. Oh, I thought it was maybe going to be a Spanish claim on it. I'll go ahead and just give them all of that. French. Wait, did the Belgians have? No. I'll let the Germans do with that as they wish. Um, nice as well. Yep. Germany can do with what they want there. Central America, I feel like me deserves to take them. Need them. As for Socialist Italy, I would give it Sardinia, but they're not with us. I don't think any. Is the pr is anybody here that's... I don't know if Venice is here, but that's in the Entente. Sardinia is in the Entente. I'm going to let Germany do with this as they please. Germany can decide the fate of France and Italy. So, we took two states, the Germans took 36, seven, Sweden took four, annex, 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 and annex, 115,104 equipment has been seized. Right, so let's go ahead and give myself the Torn Valley. There we go. That, sorry though, we don't actually have a claim on it. Um, turn to Swedish lands, why the hell did I do that? Let's just, oh, I don't know why I did that either. Um... I'm just... What else did we need? Found Marco to Torn Valley Annex. I cannot do that yet. Yeah, yeah, I think we got all the land that we claim. Right, I'm, I'm just going to... For this once, because we're getting near the end, and I really wanted to do that last focus. So, focus dot auto complete. We'll just bin that. Focus dot auto complete and focus... No, no checks. We can go ahead and proclaim 
Greater Finland. So we're now Greater Finland. Fantastic. There we go. Sorted. I know it wasn't completely legit, but uh, I just wanted to get that bit of tree done. Now we'll do coastal defense again. We are still at war, that's with Japan. Um, Sardinia has peace still. Sardinia has flip sides. We also have uh, Medina and Tuscany. So they've done as they pleased with the Italians. Cancel on aggression. And the Pope has taken some zesty bits of land as well. However, has not joined the cause. Please don't crash. It's not crash. Good. Yeah, they are actually a puppet of the two Sicilies now. Uh, Duchy of Brittany is here. And also the French are here as well. So there we go. That is sorted. What did Mexico do actually? Mexico has just completely taken that all. And why on earth is Mexico at war with us? Um, what on earth? So we're still going to wait for that. At least, um, I think what we should do is just prepare ourselves for the potential invasion of the Russians now. Yeah, we're going to cancel our aggression packs from all of them. Rebuild Empire. Well, this could really lead to some bloody wars, couldn't it? The collapse of the Japanese Empire. Peace with the, the Empire of the Phoenix. Some two-week conference report after there's any of the agreements in the terms. Final for we accepted peace. We have been gained much, and this is nothing less than a great victory. We've done nothing. Um, here comes the peace. I'll be interested to see how much Ching gets from this. Ching got it bloody all, and Russia got Transamur. I think that is a relatively fair ending to that war, because Ching did do all the work. Maybe the uh, the Germans were the ones that took out the Japanese fleet. But, um, well... Ching, Ching done bits. A very strong looking Ching. I wouldn't be surprised if they either go to war with um, Mongolia now. Well, they, or even Russia. They might be very ballsy. Now we're just going to have to wait a minute because this is completely... Hey, taking a dump. Aha, there we go. Treaty of Tokyo. And they've pieced out with loads of people. I'm just using a shortcut. Yeah, holy hell. Yeah, that's that. Holy hell. Oh my gosh. Look at them all. What? Oh my days, Japan. There we go. Sweden, Norway. Sweden, Norway is formed. Oh, that is brilliant. I didn't actually mean for that to happen, but... It's bloody happened. So we've got Sweden, Norway, and flipping Greater Finland. That is a ridiculous flag, by the way. What on earth is that? I know it's Sweden and Norway together, but what the f what the hell? So, things are looking pretty good. Oh, the Soviets are going to die. The Soviets have lost. Uh, we are on our way home. Um, oh, damn. Oh, damn. What the hell? The United States is back. What the hell? And they're not even at war with any of them. What the hell? I guess the Entente will probably be focusing their attention on the uh, South America now. Because they could really get that under their control. Uh, Mexico is at war with the whole of the German faction. Costa Rica got absolutely destroyed. Um, I'm not going to waste... I'm not going to join that. I'm just going to chill, enjoy peacetime. And get my ass over here ready for uh, the Soviets. I mean, not the Soviets, the Russians. Of course, we lost a lot of civilian factories. Because, of course, we were holding a lot of France. I wouldn't be surprised if the same uh, has occurred with some factories. And again, I don't really actually put the uh, factories anywhere. Petrograd's fallen, Costa Rica's died. Yeah, there we go. 1941, the Civil War is finally over. Finally over. I would have loved to have seen the final outcome of the, like, the total losses and everything there. Because that probably would have been insane. Okay, yeah, we did lose a decent number of factories. 
the same time, we're so fine on equipment. I think what we really need to do is actually focus on the uh, the bunkers. Um, we're still working. Artillery, do you want to get yourself upgraded? Panama has joined the Entente. So we're going to have a lot of non-aggression packs being cancelled. Invite the legitimate Tsar. Well, I'm sure the legitimate Tsar is dead at this point. Gain base stability, zero. That is amazing. No stability. What's their stability on then? 10. Still, oh, well, they're going to lose the Soviet threat. And political instability is going to leave them as well. Yeah, which is currently doing what? Yeah, they're going to get some. Oh, yes. That stability is like that. Oh, well, look at is it Luckily... They've got some increased stability hangs there, or that would have been really bloody low. I'm going to purchase some German light cruisers. They consist of five whole submarines. But hey, they've done their bloody job. Return to Helsinki. Just make sure that's them on that. I think we should, pretty, we should be fairly okay. I'm, I'm hoping the Germans are just at war with Mexico. Japan has war goals. Japan really doesn't have much going for them at this point. The going for them is the fact that they still have the Philippines. And... Ching, look at Ching. Ching is just monstrous. Even Yunnan's done bits, actually. Voice of the Tsar. So cr He's still alive. Kurdistan joined the Cairo Pact. Cairo Pact is looking very nice. The tribal appeasements. I really can't. Alright. Well, I think this is a good place to leave it. Everything's... Well, we're at peace. So it's been a good episode. A really good episode, actually. And um, it's nice to see Sardinia has joined us. Oh, why do Sardinia pedimont? Do you know what? It's fine. They're at war anyways, so... Yeah, anyways... Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I shall be back for maybe a couple more episodes of this. Anyways, do, keep, do take care. Cheerio bye, and then now.